Before we get this video started, you will need scissors, some nun glue. This is about, it's high, y'all. It's like $19 from Amazon. It will be in the description. If you could find something cheaper, let me know because I paid about $19 for that. You will need scissors, glue, the pendant, of course. The pendant. Circle or square, of course, the pendant. And the glass for the pendant. Everything will be in the description. Alright, y'all. So, what y'all gonna do is y'all just gonna find a picture. Any picture that y'all like. And then y'all just gonna go ahead and save it. Then y'all gonna go to y'all app store and download print a size. A print a size app. So, you can size your uh, images. Because if you just print it out like that, it's gonna be super big. And you can't use it like that. So I have this app called Printer Size, and this does cost, I think it's $1.99, but if you go, if, I guess this, you can use this one. This one is free, but I'm not sure how it works, but yeah, so just get, just download an app that could, like, you know, print your pictures to the size that you want them. All right, so once you uh, get the app, you're just going to go and get your picture, and then you're going to crop it to how you want it. And then you're just going to play around with it because you don't know which extra size you're going to use. Because so, when you print it out, like, it's, it's going to come out either big or small. So you just want to play around with it and, um, you know, just play around with it. Pick a size you think. It's kind of just like a guessing game. That's why you want to you wanna do a lot of these. You see how I got a lot of pictures on here? You want to do a lot of these because eventually when you print it out, it's going to be, one of these is going to um, fit the this, fit this circle. So, yeah, you just play around with it, and then you go ahead and you go ahead and print. Go ahead and print your stuff. All right, y'all, see, I just got a regular Canon Pixma. I think it costs about $45. Sorry about the sound. It is, I just turned it on. <laughs> but, yeah, I just got this for about $45 at Walmart. So yeah, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna print it on glossy paper. Well, that's just what I prefer because if you print it on regular paper, the quality is not gonna be bad, but it's not gonna be great. So I prefer printing it on glossy paper. And then I, I could show y'all the difference from regular paper and then the glossy paper. So yeah, I'm just gonna set the paper in. Hold on, I don't know why I uh, bend it right there, but I'm just gonna set my paper in and then I'm gonna print some. so it got done printing so this is how it looks on the glossy paper and i'm going to show you guys how it looks on a regular printed paper so it's printed on the regular paper oh. so this is how it looks on it's actually not bad as i thought it would be but it just like you see how it's, it's it's definitely not bad, but just look how at the difference. I like the glossy look, and this one is kind of faded. I like how it looks on here. So yeah, so yeah, you just want to get your um glass, and I'm doing a circle today. They do have square pendants, but I'm not gonna do a square pendant today. So this is how the square pendant looks. So yeah. And yeah, this is what I mean by like just playing around with the size because you see how like this one is a little too big because when you put the circle around, it only gets that the eyes, right? But when you put it on here, because it's a smaller, it gets the whole thing. So yeah, that's what I mean just by like playing around with it on the printer size app. And like I said, eventually you'll get the right um size by just like you know just printing some out so yeah this one this is a little too big 
but then you have the right size right there. So yeah, we just, I am thinking I'm gonna choose this one. Yeah, I'm just going to choose that one right there because it, I like how that looks. I might do this one. I think they're the same, so yeah. Yeah, and now we can start making the uh, pendant. And if you wanna see how the square looks, it will look like this. I love I love the square. It, look at that, it, got stuff, it gets the whole um, thing. I should do a square. I should do a square. Okay, we're just gonna do a circle. All right. To do this one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your glue. And don't mind my glue. I had this for a while. This glue lasts, but like it dries up, like around it. That's why my glue is like I don't know what happened. <laughs> but get yourself like a painting brush or a pencil or something just to dip in there and then you know put it down. So I'm just gonna use my fingers because I'm using one hand right now, so it's kind of hard. So I'm just going to use my fingers, get a little glue on your finger, and then you just want to put a little down. There you go. Just put a little down at the bottom. And then you can do the top. You don't have to do the top because this glue is really good and it holds. But I'm going to do the top, and you can do the sides if you want, but I'm not. So, yeah, after you do that, get your circle. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Okay, let me let me set this down, y'all. Cause all right, so then you're just gonna get your uh, square. <laughs> so don't mind that glue on my finger. And then you wanna set it down where the glue is, and I'm gonna move it up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna press down. Make sure you got some glue on the um, glass. We're gonna press down. Move this over a little bit. I don't want it. I'm trying to not get as least white on the sides. And this doesn't, I'm just trying to show y'all what to do, but this doesn't have any glue right now on it because I, I didn't press down on the bottom, but yeah, you just want to press down while you got glue. And some people put glue in the middle and then put the circle in there, but I don't do that. I think it messes up the quality of the picture. So I just put it at the bottom and make sure it's some um, glue. But now I'm going to put some glue on there. And as you can see, it's just a little bit, kind of. You see that little circle surrounding it? Like, it will, it will, um move around when I push down. You can't see it, but it's glue on there. It's glue at the bottom. I didn't want, didn't want to put a lot on there. So just press down for about 10 seconds, just as hard as you can. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your scissors and you're just gonna literally just cut around the circle. What I do is I hold it. I hold it and then just cut around it. So yeah. All right, so this is how it's going to look after you cut it. And then if you have some glue, like, on the top of your glass, just wipe it off with something. And if you want, like, the glass to be clean, just, like, use some um, glass spray, whatever that's called, <laughs> to wipe your windows and stuff like that. Yeah, just use it on this. Just spray it and then use a paper towel, glass cleaner. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your pendant. This is a rose gold color. I'm going to put every link in the description so you guys can order these too. And I'm going to put the square ones in the description as well. But yeah, this is just the rose gold um, pen and I have. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue. And you're going to put it in the center or all around. It doesn't matter. Just put it in the center. I'm not going to put no glue in there because this, I'm, this is just like, you know, for the video. I'm not going to be selling this or anything or... If somebody wanted, they could buy it, but I'm not, like, you know, it's just a tutorial, so I'm not going to waste this uh, pendant. But, yeah, 
So you just play, you just like, I'm gonna put center it a little bit, and yeah, this is how it looks. All right, and you can get a hundred of these for like. I want to say $10. I'm going to put the link in the uh, description so you guys can get everything that you need to make these pendant chains. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, and if this was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.